Hello and welcome to PlayStation Mesa. My name is Mitchell Morgan and on Saturday I had a couple of hours free time so I thought that I would drop into one or two Gran Turismo lobbies for some fun races and just to relax a little bit. After a couple of great races I found myself on the Special Stage X track and a GR1 race that would give me the opportunity to take the brand new legendary Toyota GT1 out for a run. However, in this race, the host of the lobby laid a dastardly trap and a few of us got caught good and proper. Whilst I was angry to begin with, I did see the funny side later and I did get my own back in the next race. Unfortunately, I did not save the replay for that race, so that will just have to remain a personal memory for me. Anyway, let's get into the race and see how this one unfolded and how it concludes in the most dramatic of fashion. So for those of you who don't know about this track, the Special Stage X is basically a very elongated oval with two very, very long straights either side of two 180 degree corners. This one is all about bump drafting to enable you to keep up with the cars in front, to push the car in front of you, to then catch that car, to push him forwards and it repeats so that you can get to the front of the field and then once you're at the front of the field stay there so very often you basically just need to pair up with one or two other cars to help you to get to the front and then right at the end of the race you're then looking for a point where you can pull out and overtake the car in front to gain one or more places or maybe even to win the race so I jumped into this lobby and I thought, well, it's an opportunity, as I said, to get this new car out, this new Toyota GT1. There's quite a few Toyota GT1s in this race, and there's also a um, Mercedes CLK, I think. I think that's the only other car in there. And you can see that we're bumping this car in front at the moment as we approach the first of the corners. And that's enabled us to get right up with the leaders at this point. And we're actually feeling pretty good about this race. Quite well positioned. We've got several cars up ahead, which is going to give us the opportunity to bump draft if we want. And also I was working pretty well with that car that I've just gone past. Because there's a few cars that have come underneath us pretty quickly. So I decided to drop down onto the bottom of this corner and just try and bump draft a few of these cars. I hit that one a little bit too hard, which has pushed that car further forward, but dropped me back. So now I'm just checking the mirror and also looking ahead to see if I can pick up a slipstream and close up. Thankfully, we do get a slipstream off of the cars in front and we do start to close up as we go down the back straight. And you can see what effect the, strip, the slipstream has on these cars. You can really, really close up very, very quickly. Now the host of the lobby here is in this sort of rainbow colored car, the, the car that goes sort of orange, yellow, and into the, the blue, greeny color, the stripe car. Uh, that's the car that we are interested in. And I thought, well, I would get on the back of that car and just slipstream that car as long as I could. He's obviously used to this track, knows the tactics, and I thought, well, that would be a really, really good car to follow. And even if he gets in front of another car, I'll drop in behind a car that is behind him and follow him through. Now, we did actually get the opportunity to hit the front, although another car comes around, so you're starting to see how this slipstream effect can really, really affect these cars. I dropped in behind this one in front. I have removed all of the names because this isn't about calling out any dirty races or anything like that. It is just a bit of fun and the host absolutely catching several of us out. You can see here how we are bump drafting this car in front. So we give it a nudge, it goes away. We then catch up, we give them a nudge and it goes away. And this enables you both to get quicker and quicker and quicker. And there will be cars all the way through the field that we're doing this. It is a tactic. Uh, you don't get a penalty for it unless you hit the car in front too hard and then you will get a penalty but for now we're just bump drafting down this main straight trying to stay here we've gone now for the inside we caught up with that car pretty quickly and i thought oh this is an opportunity as we go into this corner to try and hit the front of the pack unfortunately i hit the front of the pack a little bit too early and in a moment you're going to see 
a number of cars come past as they're slipstreaming me and bumping me. But I thought that that was quite an opportune moment just to hit the front of the pack and just see how we go. You can see the car on the right hand side and also the host comes through, all sorts of cars overtaking at this head as we get to the end of this corner. So now I'm thinking I need to bump draft. And as I said earlier on, the host is at the front of this little group. So I was thinking, oh, let's just tuck in behind these cars and just stay right on him and just stay there. And all of a sudden, wow, we just get piled straight into the barrier right before the pit entry. Three, four of us, I think, were taken out in that really, really dastardly move by the host. He knew exactly what he was doing. And let's have a little look at that incident from his point of view. So we go on board with the host and I've slowed this down to quarter speed just so you can see what's happening. Now I'm not familiar with this track so I didn't know not to follow this yellow line or had any idea of what was going on. But you can see that he's following the yellow line, lining himself up for the pit entry. We're obviously slipstreaming the cars in front so not even seeing the pit entry signs here. And as he approaches the bollard on the left hand side of the pit entry, he comes across the pit entry line and he'll move across to the left, just leaving the cars that are slipstreaming him to just pile into that wall and go from like 200 miles an hour to nothing in a moment. It absolutely wakes you up. So again, I've slowed this down. We're on board with my car running this at quarter speed and you can see that I'm just trying to line myself up on these cars. We just get ever so slightly into the car on the right hand side. Thankfully he doesn't go off but I'm closing right up on the car behind the leader. Absolutely nowhere to go and in he goes and I pile in too and then two others pile in behind us as well. Massive, massive accident. The host absolutely stitching all of us up as we went in there super duper duper hard so what a brilliant stitch up the host absolutely knew what he was doing i didn't know the track well enough to know what was happening i've certainly learned that lesson as well as a few others fantastically executed really really funny and i thoroughly enjoyed it and if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new around here please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications of more videos coming very, very soon. For now, host, well done. See you again very, very soon. For now, take care. Bye-bye.